My name is Matt Stiles and I'm a lecturer in saxophone and also postgraduate studies here at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts. While I teach a lot of classical, I also teach a style of music that's called cross-genre music, which borrows from jazz and rock and contemporary and those other styles, but is always kind of rooted in classical music. I became really passionate about music because my whole family was very musical. My parents were both musical and both of my brothers went through music scholarships as did I and so I always had music at home. And it was something that I always heard, I always loved and it was never a conscious decision to do it or not to do it, I was just always doing it. I'd always been intrigued by the saxophone and when I got to high school around about year 10, they were short of saxophone players. So I took it up then and ever since then, just the sound of it and the endless possibilities really of the saxophone is what has kept me going and kept me passionate and kept me interested because I think the saxophone can and should go anywhere in music. One thing about education that I'm a big believer about is to teach students to teach themselves. And one thing that I really garnered from all of my teachers, again, specifically the ones that I got the privilege of learning from through the Churchill, was teaching them about process, teaching them about how to learn rather than just what to learn. When they leave here, they have to have enough knowledge about how to learn and how to go to the next step to keep them going and for them to want to know more. I was awarded the Gerald Frank New Churchill Fellowship in 2003, which enabled me to look at cross-genre pedagogical methodology. And it enabled me to travel to the US to learn off some of the great minds in that area. Uh, the first stop was in New York, where I attended the International Association of Jazz Educators and got to meet one of my all-time idols, Michael Brecker. I then went to Indiana University in Bloomington, where I spent a period of very intense study with Otis Murphy. That completely changed the way I think about playing and teaching the saxophone. It opened my eyes up to so many ideas that I didn't know existed or didn't know how to do, which was why I wanted to, to do this fellowship. Then I went to University of Minnesota, where I then studied with Eugene Rousseau, I suppose you could say he was the godfather of, of classical saxophone in America. And learning off him was like, it's not a great phrase, but it was like learning off Yoda. It's just this amazing, this almost centuries of deep knowledge about the saxophone. And not only about how to play it, but how it worked, the physics of the saxophone, the actual mechanics of the saxophone. And so those two intense periods still inspires me. And to this day, I'm still incredibly grateful for it. Because I was awarded the fellowship, I've been able to firstly establish a, a tertiary saxophone program for classical saxophonists that just didn't exist in Perth as I was going through as an undergraduate. One of the most tangible impacts is what your students do. My students are very broad-minded people. They've got a deep knowledge of the saxophone and the repertoire and the traditions, but more so have an idea of the possibilities of the saxophone beyond what I bring. The other thing that I've garnered from the, the Churchill is the need to give back to the community. And so since 2013, I've created a community event called the Math Saxophone Event. And we have workshops and masterclasses and so forth. And at the end of the night, they get to perform in front of their peers. We've had people in their 70s and 80s playing and haven't played in ages. And just seeing the impact that that kind of thing has on them, they love it again. If anyone's thinking of applying for a fellowship, my first bit of advice is do it. The Churchill Fellowship caters for pretty much any discipline. Anyone who has expertise, has a track record, but wants to find out more. The other grants that are available, they are sometimes uber focused on one thing. And so it's hard to find where your passion and your idea fits. But at the end of it, you, you know that you've really deserved it, you know more about what you want to do and you will have an amazing time. I've, I've never talked to any Churchill person who hasn't come back and has been ultra glowing about their experience thanks to Churchill.